Give us your thoughts, Coach, on their two uh, primary ball carriers in Barkley and McSorley. What do they do well? Well, I think, uh, uh, you know, the, the running back is very talented. I think he, he really does a nice job with his vision up inside. Uh, and, and when things kind of close up in there, he can bounce out at the line of scrimmage. So he's a guy that, you know, is kind of hard to deal with, and obviously his numbers speak that. I think the quarterback does a very nice job of reading the zone, reading the running game, and I think he really makes people miss in space. Well, I think they're very versatile. They, they do a very nice job in the running game. they got the ability to run the ball in between the tackles and outside on the perimeter. Uh, their tight end is very, very good with the ball in his hands. He's a very high point catcher. Um, you know, he's he's really a mismatch for a lot of different defenses. And then their their ability to get the ball down the field to make explosive plays in the passing game. Cam, talk about their two-pronged running attack with a quarterback and a running back who can run the ball well. What do you guys really need to do to slow them down? Uh, it's just staying in assignment sound is huge for us. I think we've, we've done a good job assignment base the entire season and really focusing on on our job and each or each individual's job and and, um, and I think that's been huge for us so it's it's we need to just continue to do our thing and, and focus on ourselves and 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 um, play best defense that we can I mean both of them uh, they have a great quarterback and running back duo with, with Trace and, and Saquon Barkley uh, so I think it's something that we really haven't seen this season with that strong of a of a tandem so I think us having a gang tackle Saquon and and everybody being around the ball, we're going to have to swarm them and, and show them something that they haven't seen before this year and, and have an aggressive style of defense. And I mean, we do bring that to the table, so hopefully we'll bring it on the second. Uh, Stevie, tell us what you see from this Penn State offensive line. What kind of physical presence do they bring? Uh, they're really physical. They remind me of Notre Dame and, uh, and Alabama's O-line, uh, especially the center. Uh, sorry, I forgot his name, but he's number 72, but he's a really physical guy, and I'm just excited to play against him. Specifically, talk about the Penn State wide receivers and what you see in their passing game. Uh, very dynamic. They go grab the ball, get the ball. Uh, very efficient in their routes, releases, and everything that they do. Uh, I mean, credit to them. Everything clicked at the right moment for them. Uh, everybody said they started off slow. I felt like it was all there. It's just one of those things where it, it can take one pass to go 60 or, you know, one incomplete pass that can change and affect the game. If instead of going for a punt, you go for a touchdown, now uh, the game is different. So uh, I felt like it just took one of those moments and it did for them and, and for us as well. So uh, the receivers are pretty great. They have a great running back, great quarterback, and it balances everything out.